searching podcasts for Dave, and one more time. Congratulations. The fact you are listening to this means you survived the solar eclipse of 2024. Of course, if you were truly scared about an eclipse, it doesn't reflect well on how prepared you are to handle what they throw at us in this election year. No eclipse ever took out a bridge or burned down a poultry plant. Just saying. Well now, like the moon pulling away and allowing the sun to light the earth again, these two are ready to illuminate the world. Just don't stare directly at them. Use a pinhole in a paper plate or something. This is Dave and Juan. And three, number two, one. Woohoo! Mm, yes, indeed. America, it's hey. okay. We know, we can feel yeah. it, and you, you are, are welcome. <laughs> welcome. Hi, everybody. How are you? I'm Dave. I'm Juan. And this is David Juan. More time. Let's just shut it down right now. We finally got it right. You know, it's <laughs> Last couple of weeks have been. 100 yeah. and blah, blah, blah. I forget what even the number this is, but it's a lot it's of them. Th- three plus years. Yes, indeed. Hey, everybody. It's good to be uh, back with you. If you can hear, if you're listening really closely, can you hear my haircut? Can yeah. You, can you hear the fact I got a hair? Yeah. I, um... I cut mine the other day, too. Can you tell? <laughs> I don't, I, I, look, I, I see guys with, you know, like yourself, you know, shaved heads and I envy that a bit because right. It's, it's a, it's work. People don't, people think, you know, unless you're just naturally bald, right. Unless you're really, you know, bald, bald, you do have to do some maintenance because otherwise you end up with that hair that nobody really wants. Right. You, you, you get the, uh, the side, I'm, I'm just yeah. saying, I don't know. I don't know how you, but I can see how that would require. I would work. be hat bald. I got some little sprigs up there, but otherwise yeah, I'm hat, what you I, see, call so hat I, bald. I got, so my wife, um, likes me with longer hair. Okay. And mo- my, man, most thing, you know, happy wife, happy life. Most of us try to, but I just can't swing it anymore. I can't, it starts getting, I, I you know, you have a bad strategy for hair when I like a haircut that looks good with a baseball cap. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So when, when, and it's, it's hard not to be insulting to a, uh, I don't tell them that anymore, but it's hard, hard not to be insulting to a hairstylist when she asks, what you looking for? I just want something that looks good under a hat. I think I went before you finish, or you should bring a hat. And when she asks if it's, you know, if you like it, just have a hat on. Well, so here's the deal, and I should, I, I know, we've talked about everything under the sun in three three years, but um, I, my, I, again, advice I don't really take from my wife, but she would like me to find a one stylist, right? One, and stylist is just another way that they get to charge you more money. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Uh, and I can see why women, especially like my wife, she's got long hair and, you know, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's more. There's, I still think they're getting women get jobbed on, oh, on stuff like that. I don't know. My, my daughter had her hair cut and colored the other day. I don't even want to know what that cost. Your daughter's having her hair colored? What, she had, like, lightened or? Shit, no. She had it lightened. I mean, it's been lightened for a while, like, with highlights. And so now she's going back to a more okay. natural color. I don't know. Uh, okay. They, I, yeah, I'm not. I, I won't push one because I don't know either. And two, I don't care. <laughs> um, wait, you know, when, hey, look, people are gonna do what they're gonna do, and 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 that's that's fine. And lighting, lightening your hair is not like piercings, you can, you know, you can right. you, you change it back, let it grow out, okay? So, I but I, I tip, I tend to uh head down here to there's a sports clip, it's called mm-hmm. sports, right? And it's one of those things, sometimes it's fantastic, and sometimes you know, so you're rolling the dice, yeah. Yeah, you're rolling the dice. My, my son, the one that does cut his hair, um, the he can never, he's never satisfied with where he gets it cut. Um, That's funny. He I, goes, he goes to a place, he goes to a nice, or he'll go to the stylist that my wife and daughter go to, but then 
he gets the one that he doesn't that or he didn't like this girl and my wife said well you should go to this one yeah, the other person right there. well right. once you've gone to that person now it's awkward to go see it is them. awkward yeah. you, you have that at uh even at sports so, uh, clips yeah well then he went to sports clips the other day and was ticked off that they didn't have march madness on um I, I'm just, I'm just saying. It sounds like your son's kind of high maintenance on the. Uh, I think he is on the haircut. I, I really. Do. Uh, but that's, but that's, hey, that's fine. It's, it's. My wife will get on me about that too. It's like this is, uh, it, this. You know, she says you're getting on stage in front of people. You should, you should care about what you look like. And I'm like, I, I mean, I do, but I don't think it's hard to mess up. But anyway, I, I, uh, I had I asked a, a guy at work the other day who's got, you know. His he would be hat bald like I am, uh, but he hadn't cut his hair in a while, shaved it, and so I said, "Hey man, you, you letting it grow out? What's going on over here?" And he said, "No, I, I'm bald in my left eye, uh, and my wife has been out of town, so I can't see." And that is true. So he's blind in his left eye. Right. What did I say? You say I'm in bald eye. in my left eye. <laughs> I'm blind in his left eye. I'm about to say you ought but, to see you ought to see Pfizer about that, man. I'm yeah, sure there's a the, pill. Uh, <laughs> so when you um when you have to cut your hair, like gotcha. this, the gotcha. hardest part is making sure you don't miss a spot. Gotcha. Okay. I uh <laughs> Yeah, bald was, blind and bald in his left eye. It's what's funny. While I'm doing this, uh the computer it must be Zoom or something, is putting ads. Like not ads, but asking if I want to upgrade to certain things. I'm like, oh lord, I know. I'm already yeah. paying for this crap. Yeah. I ain't doing yeah. it. So yeah. anyway, not now, not now, not now. So I, um, I had a favorite there. Or I think my name was Angel. I used to look try to figure out when Angel was going to be there to to get my hair cut. And then think about a sports clip uh, hairstylist when they disappear, bro. They gone. They yeah. gone. You don't know if they went get a job somewhere else or they were abducted by aliens. Or... <laughs> and it's not like one of the things about the stylist, as I recall, when I, you know, many, many years ago, if they moved, they would let you know so you could follow them. Usually. And I've had that before, but uh, but alas, alas, dear Angel is gone. She left. And so it's been about a year or so that I'm rolling the dice and. You got this one guy, he's, a, he's an older Asian gentleman that just doesn't seem to fit, right? I mean, it's always the you know, sports clips. You go in there, it's typically, it's always women. I mean, you, you never well, see. That's, that, that's one of the draws. Yeah, but I mean, I'm not looking to go to Hooters to get yeah. your hair cut. You know what I'm there saying? There used I'm, to be a place here, and it's a chain. I forgot what it's called. Um, uh, but that was the draw. It was like getting yeah. your hair cut at Hooters. It's sad. It's sad. Don't do that. Hey, hey. Y'all, if 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 you're that lonely, y'all, st- I'm seriously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't don't. I, I, well, I shouldn't judge. Whatever. So I, I, you girl that dies, that Asian guy, that older Asian gentleman. One time I was cringing like, oh man, because you feel bad when you get in there. You can select and have to wait, or you take the next available. first available. You know. And I wrote, but he was good. Liked him. Of course, he's gone to who knows where where where, where he's at. This last time I get in there, and I forget her name, an older woman, and when I say older, she was probably my age. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, you know, like right, a bit old to be working at sports clubs, probably. Um, her, and I'll, I'll do this again. I'll say this again. You know, English was not her first language, mm-hmm. but that's you know, but I, I could kind of listen, and I've got no doubt she must have uh, cut hair in prison. Uh, <laughs> Because she had, she was very, very um, uh, abrupt with her, uh, you know, her, her, not her question so much, but her comments. And she would pull you back. Like, you know, like, like, like to sit up straight, whatever. She wouldn't so much say it as she'd like, put your hands on the shoulder and kind of pull you back into the chair. And I'm like, I don't think I'm used to, to being a little, a little abuse with this physically manhandled. So she starts cutting. And then that's the thing, you know, they pull out there and I always have to. I don't, well, I don't know when's the last time you got a haircut. And I remember you said somebody gave you money back one time, which was kind of yeah, yeah, kind of nice. Yeah. I, I don't know how to feel when you sit in the chair and they ask too many questions. Okay. Cause, cause it's like, my, my thing is, listen, I got my hair cut ah, maybe every two months, every three yeah. months, depending on what the travel schedule is and how, right. I don't do this. You do this every day. Look at my head. Look at what I walked in with. 
Yeah, I just want a little, little sh- I want what I have, but just a little shorter. Use scissors. Okay, so I, now the flip side of that is I get a little upset if somebody just shuts up and they just commence the cutting without talking very much. So then, you know, I guess I can't be happy on, on either way. I'm looking for that happy median. But she starts cutting and she does she does stuff and did look like she cut. You know what I'm saying? It's she, when she finished, I could have went like, yeah, that looks all right. But how much did you take off? And she, I swear to you, I swear to you, she says, well, you can look at the floor and see how much is, is on the floor. <laughs> and and I said, I'm not taking any of that with me. Okay, that's <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for a measurement. <laughs> that, I don't typically judge my haircut. <laughs> But what is sitting on the ground? Yeah. yeah. So, What's your frame of reference? So I think she went at it a little bit more aggressively after. But uh, anyway, there yeah. you go. It it um, it uh, it is it is it is what it is. So yeah. I, I don't know if I will. I don't know if I will select her next time. But we shall see. But I love that. You know. What do you think? Look at the floor. Judge your yeah, judge your haircut. But what it left on the ground. Yeah. Well, if. You know, if some of the rumors or, or fears are true about what ha- what's happening tomorrow, you won't be getting another haircut, uh, and people won't be seeing this podcast. Um, you know, it, it could be the rapture tomorrow. I I don't know that I have. Uh, and what's what Juan is referring to is tomorrow, for the first time in the history of man, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, but um, there's a full. There's going to be a full solar eclipse yeah over uh portions of the country and i, I yeah, guess mo- good, i think about 87 percent here but it's gonna be cloudy so i don't know how much you'll be able to tell i'm hearing a lot of that so um and that's gonna happen tomorrow afternoon i forget the time it's early afternoon right it's yeah it's, it's like uh, 120 i don't know somewhere between one and one thirty. there are some places that have canceled school Dude, yes, yeah. there's in jefferson parish uh up around new orleans they cut it for half a day uh, pure stupidity i mean they said uh, that a lot of places are doing it because it's at the time when the buses would be running so um well the 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 interesting thing is so i i was in uh waco texas uh this past week so we're, we're you and so we're recording this on a sunday y'all so by the time you see this hopefully hopefully the world's still here and and mm-hmm. you know it, it, it was not the you know, if not, you ain't seeing this. Exactly. So, all right, so then, then I'll feel dumb for getting up and doing this today. If we're just doing it for, well, it's been, been nice knowing you on if, if, <laughs> if, uh, if, if it is truly the end, but, uh, so I was in Waco and Waco is, is part of the Texas that's going to get a full, they're going to get the hundred percent. Yeah. So I give Waco credit. They've got signs out that look like uh, almost like concert signs, like almost like rock concerts. And it's called Eclipse Over Waco, I believe. And it's funny. They're making it sound like the Waco Chamber of Commerce got together and had the planets aligned. You know, it's like, it's like you know, the, the, the Waco is bringing this to you. But they were blocking streets. Man, I was coming into the, to the hotel. I was near the Waco Convention Center. They already had streets blocked for this nonsense. Awesome. Well, they're saying people are look, man. My my nomad son, the the one that doesn't cut his hair, um, he is. I think I talked about it. He's living in Minnesota somewhere in Duluth, Minnesota, and I think he's going to be driving quite a few hours uh, to Indiana to be in line. Called me. The boy never calls me, but called me a, last week and said, "Hey, I know you it might be tough for work, but I think you ought to drive." You know, Go get Gramps and drive him to uh, San Antonio oh. uh, <laughs> for the for the eclipse. Oh, pull a Hank Hill. I can, oh. I can see me telling my dad about that. Oh. Dude, so and here, but it beyond that, it's going to be like locust with the people coming in. Like, right, that's what they're saying. Towns all along this dangerous the plane or whatever. It's they said it's crazy just the amount of people coming in for this. I stayed, um, and it was nice. nice it's, it's well kept. So if you if you're in the Waco Convention Center, which is actually a nice convention center, by the way, shout out to Waco. It's 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 uh, nice size, nice layout, and there's a Hilton connected to it, and then there's a, a Courtyard Marriott that's just right out the front door, and you know it's nice, it's a pr- pr- nice area. Um, but it's it's a courtyard, man. Nothing fancy, right? It's court, courtyard by Marriott. Nothing fact 
maybe on the, I wouldn't call it rundown, but more on the, it's, it's not new. Right, right the older it's, size. Right, it's not new. A room, to put it in perspective, so I stayed there on a Wednesday night, Thursday, whatever it was. I think my room all in was about 140 bucks, 145 bucks. Yeah, that's my average for yeah, on hotel. tonight as we're recording this on the Sunday night. And I think tomorrow, $700. <laughs> a courtyard by Marriott, nothing room, $700. And that's pretty much everywhere. Yeah, just, just to give some perspective on that, I stayed at the Roosevelt in New Orleans one year you know, on uh, Endymion night. For about that, granted, it was yeah you know, a few years ago. Uh, but man, yeah, you it, you dropped seven hundred dollars to stay in a hotel room on a. I know, man. I was dumb. I'll I didn't tell even you, steal the, I didn't even steal the pillows. I didn't think you were much of a drinker, but that makes me wonder what. Uh, good grief! I, I don't know, man. It was. I was trying. You were just. To, I, you were just. You were just balling. You were just feeling. I got you. Well, here's the deal. So tomorrow, and again, y'all. Hopefully you're hearing this. This means the world didn't end. Um, <laughs> I'm flying to Little Rock. All right. I'm speaking in um, in Little Rock, Arkansas on Tuesday. Uh, but I got to fly in tomorrow. My flight approaches Little Rock at the time of the full eclipse. So I'm just hoping my pilots are not staring at the sun. Right, right. I'm hoping that the Quillons in front of the plane... Don't decide. Oh, look at that. It's covering it, y'all. I, 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 and maybe I'm just a jerk, but I don't care. And I will look out the window. Yeah, it's dark. And what I've told people, yeah, it's dark in my house every day. <laughs> and, uh, and I told somebody on Facebook last night, I said, and you might think I'm a bragger, but after it gets dark, it gets light. It gets light. Yeah, yeah. I've seen this before. You just want, but so I get it. People are, um, they get excited about this stuff. And more, if, if, and, and look, I the older I get, I'm trying to be more. If if you enjoy that stuff and you ain't hurting anybody, right. have at it. You, you know, I say you do you. Don't act like I'm crazy. Because I'm like, well, okay, yeah, I guess. Well, I'm not gonna have a choice. I'm gonna be in the air, so yeah. I guess I'm gonna. That, well, that's assuming that United leaves on time. And, <laughs> yeah, you could not be. And, you know, the door doesn't open. Of course, hey, I might have a good story. Yeah, the door of the plane opened, and I actually saw, I actually watched an eclipse through an empty uh, open uh, door in an airplane. Um, I don't I don't think I have a window seat. I should have checked. <laughs> I should. I'd be leaning yeah, over somebody. Seat on, the, on the wrong side of the plane. I'd be leaning over somebody. I mean, let me see. Let me see. It's um, – Eclipse well, will probably be on the on the uh, well. I guess it would be above us at that time. I don't. Whatever. Yeah, I guess the. Um, it'll probably be cloudy. That's the thing. I think yeah. it's calling for overclass overcast uh, skies. It is here. It is here. Yeah. Still gonna so, get dark, y'all. Yeah. Uh, people here have been posting a meme uh, that it says, "I don't know why you're so worried about the eclipse." Uh, Kid Rock did. Uh, hadn't seen uh, what hadn't seen the day in three damn days or whatever the lyric to that song was <laughs> haven't seen the hadn't sun seen the in, three, sun damn in three damn days kid rock he just visited your locale who was who was in town or in the general vicinity last night for um rock the country which i just thought was an exclusive thing here but it's i realize it's actually a touring deal he's going to be doing shows around the country apparently yeah. in off and I, 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 it makes sense in areas not not big cities like outside. Right, of it cities. was for those of you who don't know, it was in Gonzales, which was a, a suburb of Louisiana. I mean, a suburb of Baton Rouge, um, um, yeah, you know, somewhat rural area, um, very red area. I would people say. can get yeah, people can get to it. It's yeah, it, it's it's rural, but yeah, accessible. it's right off I ten. Yeah, if you were driving through driving coming from new orleans to get to baton rouge and you were going to an lsu ball game the arena or the facility where this was is on the road that you would take to go to lsu there you go we like giving directions to things that yeah. already happened yeah yeah <laughs> pretend 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 you're doing that and uh, right i understand by the, tanger mall, bro. by the tanger mall you can stop and get yourself some some discount 
Tana shoes. Although I don't know that those malls, they, I don't think it's a, a I mall. I think in the day they were. Yes. Yeah. That used to be but, the deal. Like the, the yeah. malls, the, the outlet the, malls. The outlet malls were all discount. And then now they figured I think out. They're just, yeah, yeah, they're just outside. They figured out that these people are not looking at the prices. They get excited. Hey, tell them it's on sale. Yeah. In fact, <laughs> mark it up a little bit and tell them it's on sale. And people go buy it. I don't know. I, I, I've i seen that. Well, I, and I think the internet changed all that too, because. Yeah, I can buy whatever. On, you pull it up and go, home. wait a minute. This is not, uh, but you're saying so, so Kid Rock was in town with other folks and he had a uh, special guest last they had night. Special guest, which they had hyped for, you know, a, a week or so that, uh, and it was even on the itinerary of the show. Um, you know, uh, Kid Rock headlined it, uh, and in between him and Hank Williams Jr., it just slotted a very special guest, uh, and it was Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson. Uh, I've got all his songs, uh, all his albums. <laughs> That's kind of odd because they had him, and I don't know, I didn't go, but on the on the itinerary, it had him at a forty-five minute slot. So, oh, uh, hey, I be, oh, I bet he did. And Tucker's a Tucker's a talker, man. Yeah. He's the, so, so yeah, I, I saw a clip of it where he was talking about, you know, a lot of the places you see on TV and the news and the internet, that's not America. Then, mm. Yeah. He said, this is America. This is America. Yeah. Gonzalez, which, you know, I'm not quite sure that's a good thing or a bad thing. Nothing personal, Gonzalez, but Juan, Juan's thinking. Yeah. G Town, baby. Is is that where the bar is that where the bar is going to be set, Gonzalez? Hey, whatever, man. Yeah, yeah, it is. I, you know, I think it's a. At least it's, it's not Sorrento. Sampling. Right, right. It's near Sorrento. <laughs> Sorry, Sorrento. I told that joke before. I'm still there. That Sorrento will always be known for my friend Lee as we're crossing the bridge, saying, "Ah, <laughs> it smells like Sorrento. The smell of Sorrento." But uh, well, that's good. Yeah, it was a good thing. I think we had like 30,000 people there. Nice. Anybody get shot? Anybody get trampled? Nope, not that I heard. Um, I did hear, though, that there was also uh, the Boudin Festival going on in Scott, which is just on your side of Lafayette this weekend. Mm -hmm. And they had to shut it down early because of several fights uh, in the crowd. No, seriously? Yeah, I'm surprised they shut it down. Yeah. <laughs> that was to fight the entertainment. Yeah. Bro, I'm going to get me some Boudin. I'm going to watch listen me some, to some fights. Listen to some local music. Yeah. And watch me some fights. I'd like to know who's, who's, man, who's fighting at a Boudin festival. I, I don't know. Uh, I guess people who, you know, not wash their Boudin down with a lot of liquor. I get it. You know. From what I got, there no guns involved, though. It wasn't a, like it was, it wasn't like a Baton Rouge festival. It wasn't. Okay. It wasn't. Yeah. It didn't sound like a fireworks show just on the ground. It was, uh, yeah. well, come on, Scott. Come be better. Y'all be better. We have to get the governor's gonna have to get on that too. Well, Jeff, but, Jeff's yeah. been getting. I the, like the governor. Like, the governor's involved, man. Yeah, we like Jeff I mean, a lot, but uh, Jeff's Jeff decided he's gonna he's, he's gonna step in on several I things. A, I was not a fan of that, to be honest with you. Well, um, I think and and explain explain what happened. Yeah, it's so you know, Outkick, which is a website, uh, which uh, one of the guys who runs out kick or who that's, uh, it used to be, kick. it used to be owned by, uh, uh, tr uh, let's see, it's Clay, one of them. <laughs> Clay, Clay yeah. Travis, Clay Travis, okay. who apparently so, is still involved with it, but he sold his majority ownership to Fox. Okay. Um, it, it's a lot, you know, it's, it's sports basic or that's a, the original founding of it. I think with sports, I don't follow. Yes, it, it, it is. It is. And they're, they're, um, they're, they're supposed to be a, um, a non woke. I, right. I think the big thing was, and I think rightly so, they point out that ESPN is a trash fire mm -hmm. and uh, very, very political one way. So they, they, right. you know, at least represent the other side. Right. And so in the, the battle of good versus evil, um, Iowa versus LSU women's basketball. Man, uh, don't even start. <laughs> you and i you and i are good friends but we're on the opposite side of that debate. i know i know we we, we uh yeah. disagree on that as well um I, but so outkick pointed out that lsu women's basketball team did were not on the court during the 
playing right. of the national anthem. So, you know, that bit, that caught some fire. And then Jeff Landry, who I think used this as an opportunity to draw attention to himself. I think he did. Um, think which, he did. you know, I like Jeff Landry. I, mm -hmm. I didn't like that, but just, you know, started, you know, saying that any athlete who is not out on the court should have their scholarship revoked. That's where I think it crossed the line. In other words, right. I, I think I would have been all for, even though sometimes look, man, you don't have to, you don't have to comment on everything, but I think just a statement saying, Hey, I believe that it's appropriate that the teams be on the court standing for the national anthem. Right. Okay. And, I think and this is the thing. It's not as though, first of all, they've never been on the court. Um, Jeff Landry was at the, the regionals that were at LSU when they, they weren't on the court. Yeah. Um, well, again, bother them. then the football team at LSU never on the field. Um, and it's not an LSU thing. It's just, so it, the difference is, as I pointed out to people or said they were not avoiding the national anthem or they didn't leave the court to not be there when the national right. anthem it wasn't a was it didn't, didn't appear to be a protest right they were there it was their coach's decision they were in there doing pre-game planning as they always do so jeff landry's effort to penalize the players is more an effort the players are doing what the coaches are telling them yeah. to do they're not refusing think, yeah, look, to be out there I, I think it's um I, just, I think it was it's just a mistake. Like I said, we we're both fans. I like I like Landry. I think he's doing a lot of things right. And sometimes just the spur of the moment, everything's hot and it's like, yeah, you know, rah rah. Yeah, so let me give the opportunity to get myself some press on this. Go game. team, exactly. I think he went on, didn't he go on Fox News to do he went that? Went on Fox with that. Yeah, yeah, you know, but Fox, hey, let me tell you. They're all lying. We said this before. Yeah, it, it's but it, it's all you know for online stuff. It's click stuff. I saw a news or, or headline on Fox yesterday. You know, tragic discovery, uh, in the you know the after the bridge collapse. Um, tragic discovery. A tragic discovery. Uh, by divers. So I'm saying, oh God, what did they find? What did they find? They found one of the bodies of the missing people. Well, yeah, know, it's an an expected discovery. Yeah, the whole well, thing was tragedy. But it, the thing is, you know, you got to get to the third paragraph of the article yes. before it will tell you what the discovery was. I honestly, and again, maybe I'm in that in that category. Since they got rid of Tucker, yeah, I don't think I've watched five minutes of Fox News. And no, it, it's because it's like you said, it, it's just it's it's stirring a pot. I listen if I happen to be in my car. At four o'clock, I, I have Sirius mm -hmm. XM, so I can get Fox on there. I'll listen to the beginning of the five to see if Gutfeld's on there. Going to be doing a rant, yeah. His rant, and that's it. Yeah. So I, yeah, exactly. He's the other guy there, and and whether you agree with somebody or not, I like listening to people that okay, that's their opinion, mm -hmm. and and in fact, if they are told by the powers that be, whoever they are, that they can't talk about that, they go out of their way. Yeah. All right, that's what you get. That's what you kind of expect. You don't get that from like a Hannity. Hannity's a clown. Hannity's right. a clown. I've, I've always hated Hannity. Okay, he you know he's a very successful clown. Dude's right. a multi, 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 multi million dollar clown. But uh, yeah, he plays a role. They all play a role. And 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 uh, yeah, so I've been it, listening to Megan Kelly's podcast lately, which is she's good. Know, she's yeah. uh, she's good. The um, but I was gonna say, but go back to the LSU thing. I I didn't see it, and I don't know if anybody asked. Was um. Was Iowa on the court? I think they were. Yeah, because they were there holding hands. There you go. See, that's what it was. Okay, that's because it had. To, there had to be a reason that it, and that's about what I'd expect. A good All-American team won, right? The, the you know America's team is standing out there holding hands. Well, oh. look, man, I'm guessing the reason you want to do it earlier today is the reason I was glad we were doing the podcast earlier today. To because I want to watch the game. Uh, I, I kind of, yes, I, 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 I kind of do. Um, and I'm feeling kind of sick. So by the time it's, you might I, be napping. I got to get, yeah, I got to get through this before, uh, before everything but goes. Say what you want about all of it. Um, it surely brought some attention to women's basketball. Uh, if by it, you mean she, I, well, Caitlin Clark, I think, you know, until yesterday, the LSU, the LSU Iowa game was the most watched game uh in women's basketball history 100 uh yeah it would have been but it would i mean and, and listen 
and we joke about this because I think you, I think you are a little more fond of Angel Reese than is necessary. And you may, you think I'm a, you kind of, you, you kind of say, oh, I hate her. All right, hater. Man, see, listen. I told my wife last night because we were watching the LSU um, gymnastics meet, um, and yeah, they came out with the crown. I know you don't like the crown, but they all no. do it. So no, LSU I don't. I don't. Thing. I don't like. I. I. I don't like any of the uh, most of the stuff that we've. Yeah, right, you don't like to look at me stuff. Prove it. You know what I'm saying? Get out there and do it. Like, don't, you know, like, on, I, I don't like when they do the stuff on the sidelines of football. They they have the belt they carry or like, oh, you got. Oh, the, yeah. Yeah. The whole chain. You know, it's like we celebrate nothing now. That's what aggravates me. We celebrate nothing. My favorite yeah. thing was always whatever coach it was. And I more than one said it, but it may have been Bear Bryant or whatever. And basically said, when you score a touchdown, act like you've been there. Act before, like you've son. been there. Yeah. Act like you've been there. Barry Sanders. What's famous about Barry Sanders? He'd do some of the most amazing things in the world, get score a touchdown, and just turn around and politely hand the ball. Like, hey, man, this is my job. This is what I'm doing. So, um, I – no, I have a hang-up with that. Yeah, I, I do. And, and I also have a hang-up with people that, okay, look at me, look at me, look at me, and it's all about me. By the way, that's another thing that annoys me. When you watch her talk, it's always I, 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 I. When I won a championship, I, I, I. So you do all this stuff. But then you play the victim card as soon as things don't yeah, go your way. Yeah, that was bad. Way. That was bad. Okay, you just you just you can't you can't do that, right? Yeah, I, um, I'll, I'll side with you on that. I mean, she's she's made millions putting herself in the spotlight. Sure. So don't fuss about the spotlight. And you just had you just played in the uh, highest watch, mm -hmm. I think. I don't know if it was all. I know it was the highest watched. Um, uh, yeah, it was very. It, it surpassed very many sports viewership, like Game Seven of the World Series. Oh yeah, it was. It was so. It was. It was so. You basically just played in the most highly watched uh, game in your sports history, and you got your butt yeah. handed to you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, by a person. One, yeah. Who was very quiet. Well, you know, and I didn't. Ha I didn't have. You know, it's kind of funny how these things kind of stick with you because I remember that from last year, and I always. My thing was, I remember I, we can go back and run the video on this. I said I was happy that I was happy for LSU for winning. Yeah, it's anytime, anytime a state school mm -hmm. gets to win, they win. If you go back and watch that game. Last oh yeah, year, you're consistent. You're consistent. It was a horribly refereed game. It was. It was. They. They. Um. They. They put the Iowa big people in trouble early. Okay. And oh, by the way, Angel Reese was not near the best player on LSU's team that game. No. It was that. That remember that girl that. She went crazy on threes. I think she had like, um, like, like dyed blondish hair. Yeah, I don't remember her name, but yeah, it's because she was gone the next year. Yeah, but but like that championship game, Reese wasn't even the best player on her team. She might have been the third best player on her team. Yeah. So, but because she made it all about her all year, that's how it goes. And you know, she's she's a pretty girl, and she does what she does. Okay. Um, and yeah, but I but lay, 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 what it is, we are actually watching women's basketball. I think they're going to be in for a rude awakening next year. I, I, I don't, I don't think this is not, this is not a, um, a, a discovery of women's basketball. This is right. a phenomenon. This is the eclipse. All right. The, let, let's, let's tie it into, we're talking about something you don't get to see very often, a full eclipse and people are going to go crazy. You know, go, trying to see the full eclipse. Once it's not, they stop. They, they ain't looking up in the sky. Uh, Caitlin Clark is that that story. She does stuff out there that you just you'll never watch her in WNBA. Oh, I bet no, no, you will for her first year, her first few games. I just don't even put it this way. There are a lot of people who are Bengals fans because of Joe Burrow. A lot of people from Louisiana, hundred percent fans. I don't see that same level of you know following the player. From college to the WNBA. Okay, we'll make a we'll make a bet on that. Uh, Caitlin Clark's first game in the WNBA is going to be the most watched WNBA game in history. Yeah, that'll be ten people. So, um, well, it'll be. I'll, I'll bet you it. It'll, it, it, it that's assuming the networks have brains, which they right. shown as they don't, because everybody wants to see it. And she's going to have an incredible. They're going to be gunning for her because she'll be playing with some. They already are. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of there's a lot of envy. Yeah, a lot of a lot of smack talk about her in the WNBA already, from what I've heard. Yeah, but you know what, Crimea River. 
You know, yeah. nobody, no, nobody watched those games before. None of them. It's like that. We, it, it's like celebrating pickleball champions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which, which, by <laughs> yeah. the way, tie this in. Yesterday was a sort of a theater day. My son was at like, the close of the play they're in. So my wife and I went. We bopped around Houston a little bit, and then we end up at our favorite place, Holman's. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, things wrapped up, and they got various. They got all kinds of TVs around in there, and one of them had on pickleball. I don't even know what the match was, whatever. But as I'm walking out, I'm looking up on the screen, and a lovely uh, young lady, scantily clad, I might add. Like I don't think it was. I didn't think it was necessary for her to be, you know, wearing what she was wearing. But old guy talking here interviewing her and i could thank goodness they didn't have the sound on i didn't have to hear her as she interviewed the winning pickleball team but i just shook my head saying man a country. Well, I, don't know. I, I was flipping through the channels and they also had um the uh cornhole championship on cbs i never could get yeah okay i flipped through it and i said i can't i just can't <laughs> come on america yeah. But I got to be honest, okay, I'm not going to lie. Um, kind of sitting there, we're killing time in the middle of the afternoon, waiting on my son to be done. And um, I look up, and they had on a UFL game. I think I would have watched Cornhole over. Yeah, see, I'm not watching that either. So, Man. Uh, I, yes, it's professional football, but just only barely. Because it's, it's only professional because they're getting paid. Um, and they're playing in a stadium that I've never heard of. It's like the Simmons yeah. first blah, blah stadium, pretty stadium empty. Like they had to be saying, Hey, no wide shots, no wide shots, <laughs> whatever you do, no aerial shots. It's, um, but you know, um, uh, like my buddy, my buddy, Kurt is a football fanatic. I bet you he watched the whole thing. He, uh, they got some people that just love football and I love uh, football, but I just don't love bad football. I don't miss it that much. We're joining back up. Uh, I got a couple tickets, and we're going to see how things work out because my, my son's the fanatic, but it always depends on whether or not he has a, um, a play going on or not. But we got uh, back with season tickets uh, again this year for the Texans. Um, oh, okay. I originally had tickets uh, way back in the day, like the very the inaugur inaugural – that's a word that's a lot easier to write than it is to say, by the way. Inaugural, hero, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. Season. And I think we kept them – I don't know if I kept them the second year or so, but it's a lot of work because they uh, and then they grew over time. This this group uh, they have a, a, an ambulance called the fan fan ambulance that they've modified and all kinds of cooking stuff and they like compete for tailgate stuff and it's just and it's it's yeah a good there's group. one there's probably the LSU version of that yeah year. good bunch of dudes and they go out there and but you know Sundays or it's a job man they're out. Like they get out there before the, the game's at noon. You got to get out there. Oh no, no, they're they're out. Listen, they're out there at like seven in the morning, yeah. eight in the morning. I mean, like the the, the security guards aren't out there uh, yet. Sometimes they don't even have to use their parking passes because there's nobody there to get them. But um, anyway, they're a great group and fun. And the seats. This is the funny part. The seats are the top row of the stadium. Oh wow. I remember when we got those, okay? And it reminds me of the uh, Real Men of Genius. Uh, Real Men. Here you are, Mr. Stadium, whatever. What, what can you see from your seats? You know, the cur your house. <laughs> Curvature of the earth. What can't you? But um, so that's where your seats are now? Listen, but they refuse. And these you'd have to hang around and see these guys. This is a fun bunch. They ref they've been offered many times to upgrade. Because it's like 10 seats. And they're like, no. They like that last bro because you got yeah. you can actually have space behind you. You can get up and walk around, and uh, well, it's like people you'll see at any professional game, and yeah, you know, they're the ones on TV when they kick the extra point. Those first couple of rows in the end zone seats, yeah, yeah, yeah. which I assure you are worse than the seats that you have because you can't there's you can't tell anything, you can't see anything. Well, the but thing those people is, love those seats. Yeah, but the thing is, those seats up there, you can you know you can. Uh, you, right, can you can see the field. the field you can see it opening up and you can walk and you got the big you got the big screen you yeah. so you, you you enjoy the game and it's the atmosphere and it's the fun and the thing you find out within at these uh these big stadiums the higher up you go the more authentic the fan right because you know now don't get me wrong i've been fortunate and you know not my stuff but i've been invited to a few things and i've gotten to mm -hmm. sit you know and it's you know it's nice it's nice to be feel special 
down there near the but man, higher up you go. That's a and it's a fairly it's deportees. That's not an old stadium, so no. m- my guess is uh, the top section is pretty steep. Uh, not like Superdome. Okay, Superdome scares me. I, I we tend to go to one one Saints game at home with our friends. Uh, you know, hike. Shout out to Gavin and Dolly. But we we go uh, a game with uh, with them. Superdome upper deck seats. I I I can't watch anybody going up those stairs. I it, it just looks from the distance that man, that's a free fall. Yeah, I sat. I went to um, LSU game in Alabama uh, a few years back, and I sat in the it was the top section. And when I tell you, I was exhausted when I got to my seat, and I wasn't drinking any. I wasn't drinking soda. I wasn't drinking water for fear of having to go back down those, those steps to yeah. go to the restroom during the game. I could see that. I could see like, that. Get, get me to the rail. Let me hold on to something. <laughs> well, so we'll see. I hope. Hopefully, I can make most of the uh, the games. But that's what they do. They get out there for hours and they cook. I mean, these you know. It reminds me of the Bayou, right? You know, like Bayou men, you know, the mm-hmm. cooks and the chefs and whatever. And man, they some of the stuff they do is incredible. Uh, but um, all grilling and stuff. So we'll see. We'll see what um, what uh, what comes of that. Um, what else I wanted to do? To, 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 jotting down stuff here. Oh, while we're all talking sports, and I don't for the three people that might even care. Just things irk me, and they irk me. LeBron James's son, Bronny. Saw, yeah, yeah. Barani. Yeah, who I read his stats in there, less than impressive. He averaged about two and a half more points than me yeah. this year. It's rare that generational talent is passed on. Correct. Uh, yeah, I, I can't think of anybody. Happens in baseball. Mannings. Happens in baseball. I'm not a Wait. baseball fan. Yeah, but. it happens in baseball more than other sports. Um. But uh, yeah, the Mannings are rare. Uh, Ironhead Hayward, his uh, his son played. His son Howie. But Long. His son played defense, I think. Yeah, I think um, so. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Howie Long. Howie uh, Long's his sons. Two sons. Um, but according according to Deion Sanders, his sons are going to be exactly exactly. I, I think they'll be named all pro before they actually get right, drafted. Right, you know the way the, it works uh, these days. Now that Nick Saban uh, has retired. The NCAA championship goes through Boulder. <laughs> so what I've read multiple times. Uh, I'm um, thinking that's a quote to, from Dion. Only if the plane is, yeah, only if the flight is connecting there and you know, it's only going to touch down. And, <laughs> yeah. uh, but whatever, man. That's, you know, where, where yeah, they all. McCaffrey, old- you know, you got that, which I didn't realize his dad, um, you know, Christian McCaffrey's dad played on the championship team uh, with the Broncos. So. Did not know that. But anyway, again, so just because LeBron James is phenomenal. Right. You know, Bronny is only phenomenal because of LeBron. No. So it's just, just one of those things. You just hear things and go, hmm, okay. That's, that's, that's nice. Uh, other, it was, I, I don't know. I got another little thing, just jotting down things that uh, annoy me. What, um, if I made you guess uh, food prices in America in the last four years, you go to go, go to the grocery store, buy some eggs, buy some ground beef, buy some bread. What do you think the percentage? How 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 high? Uh, how much has food prices gone up in the past four years? I'm guessing forty to fifty percent. Yeah, you know what? You're a little aggressive, but according to what I was seeing, it's thirty six. Yeah. Which the fact you guessed for forty to fifty probably on some things, like like individual things like eggs. Yeah. Uh has gone up more than that. But uh but thirty and that's just food in general. You know, the stuff that we need. That's the other thing they kind of play around with the inflation things, because the inflation numbers they always they they they, they uh, give are designed not to tell you the truth. They pull out like when you give when they when they give you an inflation index that doesn't include food, that yeah. doesn't include gas, you know, the things that you actually need. To uh, get through the but but third, so that's a third, man. That's a well, third. I can tell you, you know, and I'll not say this, but I will. I mean, it's nothing offensive, but the yeah, you know, I work for a wholesale distributor, and we sell food, mostly you know, convenience store stuff. Uh, one of our biggest profit centers right now is price increases. 
because basically we buy something, you know, we've got three months supply worth of stuff in the oh. warehouse. Uh, and therefore if the price goes up on our inventory, if the right. market price goes up on that, we increase the price we sell it by. So we bought it for a lower price. Correct. All right. No, I get, I get, I get, it's like, it's, it's an appreciating asset. Right. It is now, you know, it's, it's not a good way to grow, but it's a way to grow. Um, yeah. You know, cigarettes. You want to talk about something that's you know, going up and I've never smoked. So I can't really give you an assessment, but the price of cigarettes is going up so much that sales are actually going down. Oh, you finally reached that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that or it's illegal stuff on the side or. or... Yeah. Well, it, it's the vapes and other you know, tobacco products uh that are taking the place of it i'm always amazed different towns i'm in or driving around whatever you know vape city vape world everything Dude, vapes. let me tell you something you know I, I had a retail business for a minute um rent in those strip centers is not cheap when so you go in there and it's yeah like the i always wondered that about the cbd stores where they've got 30 products in the store that's it yeah. but the margin on that is enough to pay the bills and make money well if, yes i i i i've i've gone into i've never used cbd i've I've bought some for um for family for for whatever and yeah i'm like wait excuse me how much yeah, yeah. How, how much of it is little man is this a cure or is this just a, <laughs> yeah like you know my mom my mom's knee hurts is this gonna like make it yeah make and it? see somebody gave me a sample one time when i was working for a place and we did printing and it was a local i guess local supplier and they were there trying to get some printing stuff from us and he gave me a sample um and people in my office, oh man can, can i have it i said well not now i didn't know it was that valuable but <laughs> yeah. i'm not gonna use it but i'm not gonna give it to you <laughs> all right well, it's the world we're living in, y'all. Happening, uh, of course, we can always count on California to just always be ahead of the curve on stupidity. Right. And you, you can make $20 an hour in California if you go uh, flip a burger. No, you can't because yeah. they're cutting jobs left and right. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't I don't understand how things work. We I'll bet you if you if if you factor out all the, um you know, the millions and millions and millions of people that have crossed the border and you know, we don't know where they are, who they are, what they do. Okay. But if you looked at what we used to consider, you know, the, the American population, I will bet you we have a higher percentage of college educated, quote unquote, college educated people than we ever have. Cause everybody goes to school. Right. Uh, that's the game. You know, Cause it seemed like it was free. It seemed like it was free. Incredible, incredible amount of, uh, a, a debt out there. But, um, you would think that somewhere along the way, economics and or just basic economics would would come into to play i mean i remember having them right it's like hey this is how this is how things work here's a product or a service it costs something to produce yeah. guns and butter right you have to sell it you have to have something that somebody else is willing and able to pay for okay you have cost involved here and you have to charge more than that to be able to stay right. in it, business. Right. Bottom line, it's not about greed of the owner. If I pay you $20 an hour, then you have to make t more than $20 yes. an hour for me. In other words, if you left and weren't there, I would lose more than $20 Correct. an hour by your absence. Correct. What is your value add? What What is the value add of you being here? And that's not, okay, 100%. And that doesn't mean that, that that's the thing too that people don't understand. It doesn't mean it's not even a judgment on a person that what they are doing is, you know, they're a good person. They work hard. Fantastic. But it has to be towards something that can generate enough money to pay for that. And right. guess what? When you increase, but that's what happens with government because they never have to deal with that. They, I was talking to my wife about this yesterday. We we're driving, um, around Houston killing time it was a beautiful day. So we had time to kill middle of the mm -hmm. afternoon and, and, uh, it was too early to drink. That's a good, that's the best time of the right? best time when it's a beautiful day. You know, it, it, it would be sort of, we'd have a problem if we pulled into a, 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 a brew, a, a brew pub right now, let's just drive around and look at nice things. And we were in a neighborhood. I don't go around much. It's not very far from here. It's up, it's up by 59 from us, 
But uh, and you're driving through, looking at these neighbor this neighborhood. It's like, whew. And that one house for sale. I'm like, eh, let's pull this up on whatever. Four point five million. Nice. Okay, wasn't near the nicest right. house on right, but it was nice, but not like oh, okay, that's um, but the I started talking about you know typical Cajuns, right? Man, even if I could pay that, even if I had the money to pay that, what's the taxes on that gonna be? <laughs> Let's just pretend I had four and a half million dollars and I walked in and said, I want this house right here, right now, cash money. Every freaking uh well year. Yeah, you pay it in monthly. Or you you know unless if you're paying into an escrow account with the, the city the of Houston, right? The city of Houston or the uh or the state, the of, state Texas of Texas is gonna hand me a freaking bill, which makes it makes you realize that you don't own your property, y'all. You no. just renting it from the government. You think you own it? You you technically don't have to make any payments to a bank or somebody because you own it, but no 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 no. The state says, hey, bro. yeah, even if you don't have a mortgage, yeah, you're paying property tax. I don't know what it runs. And that's the thing about Texas. And don't get me wrong. I love Texas. We do. I mean, we chose to live here. Um, but and we have no personal income tax um, on Texas, Texas. Right. So we got yeah. we pay uh, U.S. tax. We have no. And everybody yeah, thinks tax. Hey, but man. And real estate, I don't care what right. the market's doing, bro. I don't care that food is up 36% in four years. I don't care that interest rates have gone up and, and, and it's harder and harder for people to actually buy your house if you listed it. Have uh, uh, Fort Bend County and state of Texas, don't want to hear it. Your, car, your house has just been assessed at conveniently. Yeah. Yeah, much they're, they're not much building those big old high school football stadiums uh, in Texas for nothing. No, there you go. So every year it's a little more, a little more, and it, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. Yeah, and we we get we get the lump like ah, uh, mm. and a lot of it goes to the school system. And I don't have any of my kids in these schools. Yeah, I mean, and I know good schools make good neighborhood. I know how that's played out. But uh, ten more tuition payments, man. Counting it down. You counting it down. Good for you. Good for you. And then your daughter's going to be up here, man. That's cool. We'll I, know. See you. I know. See you more and more. We were driving by there uh, the other day. Um, Let's see. No, 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 no. Just looking at what else we got here. I don't know. It was almost like my economics thing here. Job numbers. They came out with some lie job numbers claiming you know, uh, accelerate 300,000 new jobs in the month of. Yeah. What, what was the vast majority of them uh, government jobs? 71,000 of them more. Yeah. And yeah. 300 something, 400, whatever, with part time. Yeah. There was a negative. There was zero manufacturing jobs created. Yeah. Part time and, jobs are the jobs that people are taking to pay for the increased cost of everything. Correct. People that are working full time jobs and having to get something on the side to make up with the 36% that it costs mm -hmm. more. These are the people that are still trying, by the way. And God yeah. bless everybody that is, all right? Anybody that's out there still trying to make ends meet, figuring this stuff out. But that's that's what happened. And, oh, by the way, the other thing, too, and and you can go back. Our, our running line is always, look you in the yep. eyes, say, America, they're yep. all lying Never to you. lying to you. Everybody's lying to you. The lie, the big one of the big lies every month is the new jobs reports because they come back next month and the month after, and, and they, they always re they revise it. It's always a yeah. revision. Yeah, my bad. Guess guess which way the revision always yeah, goes. Yeah, it's never they had more. We we miscount. We didn't count those. Yeah, we were high five and we were like, and then Fox News was doing the dum 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 dum. Yeah, that was that was not true. We were just kind of pulling that out of our collective behinds over here. And there you go. But um, well, talking about the minimum wage thing in California, I went into my first what I guess would be called fully automated, so to speak. Uh, not automatic, but uh, where at, at McDonald's, where there was no people, that there was no counter. Uh, it was all computerized, I guess. Using the big were, screens, flat. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. How did I, it go? I only, I, I only had to pee, so um, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't order. Oh man, you're not me. If I if I if I find myself needing to use somebody's restroom, I'm gonna buy the cheapest thing they got at least. To, uh, a convenience store. Well, sometimes if it's like lunchtime and I go and I can, if I would go like a, I would, if I would have, or if it had been lunchtime, I basically would have walked out of the restaurant and then got in the drive through line. Okay. You kind of lost me on that one, but all right. No, like I'd have gone in, use a restroom. Oh. 
then left, walked out, but still placed an order, just placed it in the drive through line. Because none of them figured out that drive through bathroom yet. That would yeah. be nice. Yeah, that'd be tough. That'd be nice. Work on that, man. Dude, that's you're, well, that's just not a distributor deal, but all right. Ah, you know, we could if we, if we sold the hardware. All right. Well, man, we're coming up to by the time to punch out here. That's I'm right. Just, uh, I'm just patting myself on the back for getting through this. Uh, what are we talking about? I woke up feeling kind of under the weather today. I got that, you know, when you have people in your house with you and somebody gets sick and you can just say, yeah, that's you, you got the third hand. That's coming. That's coming this way. I can see it. But, uh, but yeah, you know, didn't quite get my voice down to one level, but well, dude, I, the other night, the, I had arthritis in my neck. Um, uh, and Ooh, that's so a good to, place to have it. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but my, my shoulder blade, I think it's more like it, it's inflamed the nerves. So not to go into my medical history or bore people with that but so i went to the doctor a week or so ago and gave me some uh pain pills for it so i don't like to take medicine but you know um i take it uh but the other night i went to a wedding reception of a friend of mine uh somebody i used to work with and nobody else from the place was invited i could tell it was just i mean they've been living together for years so they did like a facebook invite so i looked to see who was invited and i could tell i was you know no current co-workers there or and i was the only former co-worker so i went you know uh just for that reason <laughs> it, was the it was the most socially awkward i've been in a you know in years i didn't know a soul there uh and it was at a bar so i just had a drink uh you know said my hellos and then snuck out but when i got home i took that pain pill and i guess it's because i had had that beer dude i was like loopy where it was like i could barely I couldn't think straight. It was so you. You funny. were saying I've never done drugs, but now I'm starting to see why some people do. Right, right. I had to. Yeah, you know, I told Joe. I said you got to go turn the alarm on. I can't get up there. We were at a. Uh, we were at our favorite place, Holman's, yesterday, and it's not judging. It's just kind of funny to see how things change. And all of a sudden, I noticed some people coming in. It was pretty quiet in the middle of the afternoon, and some people started coming in with looked like obvious um, um, wedding dresses and whatever, mm -hmm. and. And before you know it, there's the bride and the groom. And they were having, you know, the, the wedding reception at, at, but I'm looking and people are buying individual, their own individual meals and stuff. I'm thinking, that's the way. way to go. Right. That's why I couldn't figure out why the other people weren't invited. I mean, it wasn't like it was an open bar. But I'm, I'm sitting there going, and again, I don't know. I'm guessing the people that got married were probably mid to late twenties. God love them. And all their friends were that age, give mm -hmm. or take. It's just funny to see guys that just don't normally wear suits or whatever. And, and then, and some of the girls and, and, and I'm not making a judgment on looks that's, that's in the eye of the beholder, but some people need friends to be honest yeah, to tell them <laughs> and say, look, look, you can't just look at it on the hanger and say, Ooh, man, I'm gonna look good in that right there. Hmm. Now, look, there could be other stories. Maybe that's the only thing you have. Maybe, but some of this stuff looks like you went out of your way to go get it. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm willing to bet that some of these people went by this stuff and somebody don't, don't listen to the salesperson. Uh, yeah. I've had a friend who always said, just because it comes in your size <laughs> doesn't mean you should wear it. That's right. That's my, it's my thing. Yeah. Boy, it's my line. Just cause you look good for your age. Yeah. Don't mean you look good. All right. <laughs> On that positive note, Juan, we'll push the button. Get on out of here. America, it's out before you. The buffet has been laid out. Take there what is. you hey, will. You know, could be your last meal. Man, it would have been over. Uh, apparently not, because yeah, if yeah, the world yeah. ends if tomorrow, you won't be getting this. If you're seeing this, you survived the eclipse. Rock and roll with your bad self, man. Congratulations on that. Really, Hope congratulations. you're not blind. Yeah. Hey, we're not hard to find. If you want to reach us, it's Dave and Juan at ProtonMail.com. And, you know. And everywhere else. Plethora, plethora, plethora of various places where you can you can find us. Every week, we tell you, hey, if we ain't suggesting, we ain't implying. No, man. We're not winking and giving you a hint. Y'all, it's a full-on. It's a freaking, freaking mandate. Mandate. It's a mandate. Gotta do get it. Out, yeah. Get out there and live your best life. If you're seeing this. Yeah, I made it through the um 
through the eclipse, eclipse. and heck, and you now you one hour down of greatness. That's right. And I'm hoping you didn't spend seven hundred dollars on a courtyard by Marriott room <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. But if you did, good on you. The economy needs your money, apparently. Support your support your local hole in the wall uh, uh, hotels. But uh, yeah, so there you go. I, it, it's there. Um, I'm going to be in uh, Little Rock uh, this week. Look for you. I'm not, as opposed to, uh, apparently, I was in Mississippi a couple years ago, had the governor speaking right after me. Uh, this time, uh, I don't think it's right before me, but uh, Governor uh, oh. Sanders, uh, Sarah Huck. Uh, yes, yeah, Sarah um, Huckabee. Huckabee Sanders. Huckabee. Huckabee. Sarah Huckabee Sanders is uh, is on the agenda a bit nice. before me. So I may actually have to show up a little early just to see. Yeah, her, yeah, her name's on the, yeah. One of the vice presidential lists being thrown around for Trump. Hopefully she don't steal none of my material. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> We're gonna see. We're gonna see. But uh yeah. And we'll give we'll give the full report on that and other things next week. Until then, everybody, have a fantastic week. Love you, bro. Back at you, man. So dude, I got a voiceover gig uh this week, and they usually put like if it's yeah, I don't know, if the pronunciation could go a couple different ways uh they'll give you some phonetic spelling of it right uh because right. i'm not talking to anybody when i'm doing it. i'm just doing it yeah there's nobody direct in the session it's just me and uh in a bedroom uh and i couldn't the place was spelled m-a-s-s-e and i said okay is that massey is that macy yeah. is that mass then i looked down I, I read a little further place was in freaking lockport get out of here yeah, so I called him. You doing a voiceover for a place in Lockport? Massey Construction. Nice. nice. And I, I called and I said, hey, man, I'm going to be recording y'all you know, on hold messaging soon. How do you say your name? <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bro, we don't care as long as you're calling us. Call us what you I'm want. Right, I'm going to say Massey. Well, how, how did they say it? They say it, Massey? Massey, yeah. Actually, they answered the phone, Massey Construction. I said, okay, well, I, I can hang up now, but I don't want to do that guy because <laughs> I, got, I got my answer. You're talking to the new voice of Massey Construction. In Lockport, Louisiana. Nice. I got it. China, that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's it's always funny when it's you know, somebody reasonably local. Is it <laughs> Mass? Then, then every now and then I'll call and say, hey, could you put me on hold? Oh, yeah. That's funny. It came out. Did you do it yet? Yeah, I did it the other day. Are they, are they using it? Uh, probably not yet. I mean, it was oh, literally like two or three days ago. We're going to give that number out once it does. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> It'd be pissed. Man, if people keep calling and want to go on hold. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's Juan of Dave and Juan. That guy's popular. It's over. Go home.